India's external affairs minister S J Shankar met Mohammad Moizu of Maldives and this is the first high level trip from India after Mohammad Moizu who is considered a pro China and he also campaigned on the India out plank the India out policy took office a couple of months back in fact this uh, visit also becomes crucial after uh, Mohammad Moizu in fact came to India as well uh, for the prime minister's swearing in ceremony uh, the prime minister's uh, third swearing in ceremony in fact so of course a crucial meeting there in the this picture is extremely important my colleague mohammed ghazali who tracks external affairs ministry for us is joining us live so ghazali this is important and perhaps emblematic of the fact that india has been able to walk that tight rope walk after we saw the diplomatic relations between the two countries really hit an all time low yeah it was a big diplomatic challenge knowing very well that one of the head of the neighboring states is close to china and that particular state has a very geostrategic relevance as far as the location is concerned because maldives also happens to be a toll gate when it comes to maritime trade maritime route in the indian ocean and it also happens to be a kind of cho choke point which connects the choke point of gulf of aden gulf uh, strait of malacca and uh, strait of hormuz in the middle east as well so uh, and, and and we have seen the kind of relations we had we have had with maldives in the last 7 uh, uh, to 8 months since last november when mr moizu uh, uh, appearing to be a very pro china leader took the oath there as president and after that his entire campaign asking indian military to military troops to withdraw from the thailand nation and after that we know the sequence of events of exchange of uh, uh, some derogatory comments from their parliamentarians but now uh, it things have changed in the last 3 months since modi uh, modi 3.0 has uh, oh has taken office like uh, uh we saw mr moizu being invited for the swearing in ceremony and then uh the foreign minister also meeting his counterpart uh, early uh, last month and now mr jay shankar going there meeting mr moizu and and, and lot of agreements mous have been signed but today it is very significant that president of maldives who was once seen as a very pro china leader and very anti issued anti india remarks as well in the past is now saying and thanking indian prime minister and both the leaders have softened their stand mr mm -hmm. jay shankar his statement or em or there uh, he has also uh, sort of expressed that how he india and maldives has exchanged cultural ties and we have uh, historic relations we were the uh, first among the countries to recognize maldives in 1965 then established relations uh, diplomatic relations 3 uh, to 5 years later so kind of relations are warming up between the two countries and considering its geo strategic position and location right. in the indian ocean it is very uh, uh, it's very promising for india to have good relations with one of its neighbors when uh, other neighborhood is in turmoil yes. considering what is happening in bangladesh